Hello and welcome. Today we've got this Hulty battery that's only charging the three bars. I think I know what's wrong with it. But I'm going to get it open, give it a test and see if I'm right. The only thing to do is get it open, test the banks of cells. There we are. Healthy 21.6 volt batteries are sort of a 24 volt, but I'm not getting into that today. Um, they have six banks of two cells, and they range between 3.5 and 4 volts, depending on the level of charge they're at, if they're healthy. So what we're going to do is test these individual banks of cells and see if there's any lower than the rest, any, um, any actually faulty all the way. I do suspect that there will be imbalance across the pack. What you want is somewhere between 3.5 and, and 4 volts in each bank of cells, but they would have to be all fairly equal, fairly close to each other. So we're going to go from one side to the other. That's 4 volts, that's fully charged, that bank. That's 4 volts, that's fully charged. 4 volts again. So far so good. 4 volts again. That's a little bit lower, not too bad, but we could bring that up a little bit. And that's 3.48. So these two end banks are lower than the rest. That one's not too far. That's not far enough to do much harm, but that one as that one's to explain, that one's at the bottom. That one's actually at the lower end of the scale and the rest of them are at the higher end of the scale. That sort of half a volt is so important. So what we've got to do is bring up this bank of cells up to four. Took that out of the casing all together. And we have to bring the voltage of this up to match the rest or come near the rest. And to do that we're going to use the Light Pro balance charge of the IMAX B6. Um, it's important to know what way to stick this on to get it right. So that's the negative side there and that's the positive side there. Right, so we're just going to connect from the negative side here and the positive side here. So the negative, if you follow that wire there, it goes up to the negative terminal up here. And we can get a secure grip on there. So that's basically going there. And this is connected to the positive side, so we can try and get clipped on there. Hopefully get a good strong grip on that. And we're setting it for 1S, that's one series. So we're going to just started charging and leave it on a wee way. There you are. It starts off at 3.5 and it's bringing it up slowly. Shouldn't take very long. Um, as the uh, cells go higher, this voltage will go higher than it's putting on. Also, when you know when it's sort of getting near the, the ampage that's going on, it'll start to drop because it's nearing its full destination. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it on a while and come back to it. See this has been charging for over 8 minutes and it's come up quite high in the voltage. We're waiting for this to start to drop. That means it'll be reaching the top destination for voltage. Why this imbalance happens? It happens over time. None of the boards in these batteries balance the cells, balance the banks of cells, regardless of what the companies will tell you. None of them do. These fall out of balance over time and fall below. So what this does, 
with these cells that are sitting at four dollars they signal the charger that the battery pack can't take any more charge if any of the single banks of cells reaches the top voltage the charger stops as a safety precaution because it doesn't want to overcharge any of these cells to bring these ones up and you wouldn't want that to happen anyway because it's a bad it's a bad thing you don't want that to happen and usually when you get the cells at the bottom like these and you have it in the tool it usually signal, signals the tool that this battery is below chargeable voltage we need to shut off the tool so it works both ways the low voltage shuts off the tool and the high voltage shuts off the charger but we'll leave this on a little while longer because it's reaching nearly 10 minutes now and it will take time if you are doing this by the way it's important to understand these cells this is the negative side and this little raised up piece is the positive side and these cells are near enough every battery except stack lithium that they have now um, you connect the red on here onto the side that's got this sort of profile and you connect the black onto this side right we're coming well down the voltage now i'm just going to stop the charger take it off and uh, test the cells again to see now if you remember these were the cells that were showing 3.48 and we want them showing around four that's what we want and of our life 4.04 that's perfect so we'll put this together and we should have a fully charged battery now four bars fully charged and we're in the tool that's it fixed so that's how you balance the cells in a healthy battery if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos